Hey everyone, it's Peek. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Pokemon Unite video. Today, the game was updated. It was a small, tiny little update with just two things that I wanted to, well, actually three, that I wanted to draw your attention to as players who play this game. So the first thing is that uh, after the update a couple days ago, after the patch and the balance updates, Gengar's Hex ability was actually kind of broken uh, where it wasn't doing damage sometimes. So you probably haven't seen Gengar's for the past couple days. Honestly, I haven't seen a single one actually, maybe one, but um, it's fixed now. Now it's, it's doing damage again. And uh, if you haven't seen my patch notes overview video, you'll know, uh, or you wouldn't know, but uh, go check it out if you haven't. But if you have seen it, you would know that Gengar's Hex was nerfed a little bit, but the damage is still quite high. Um, it was kind of scaled back in terms of the invulnerability frames that it gets, uh, just meaning where it can't be damaged during the animation of Hex, where it's like teleporting and stuff. So, you know, it's a bit of a nerf, but I still really have noticed that uh, just playing today, that Gengar's damage is still, still definitely there. So if you're a Gengar fan, don't worry, your Pokemon's not dead. It just had a little bit of bug and it's fixed now. So they are confirming that it's doing damage again. And I've seen that in my matches as well, that it's working again. So good stuff on that for Gengar mains, I guess. If you enjoy being uh, one shot in the Zapdos pit at the end of the game, we all love that. So the uh, next thing here is that the ranking point system for the people who are in master rank was hot fixed i guess i uh, don't know how true this really is because i haven't really noticed a difference but apparently they adjusted the uh, increase and the decrease that happens after you win or lose a match um the big issue with this was that um and i'll even put a tweet that i posted when i first uh you know, got to master rank and lost my first match. People, as soon as they were getting to master rank, they were, you know, losing like minus 26. And for a win, they were only gaining like minus two or minus, or sorry, plus two or plus four, or plus six. And it was just, you know, very discouraging for solo players, I think, who didn't know that this system was coming. And uh, I don't think many people did outside of the people who played way back in March in the Canadian beta. I knew this is how it was. Uh, so I was prepared for it mentally. But uh, I think it really upset a lot of people who, you know, rushed to master rank as soon as they could, um, but found that as soon as they lost like one game, they were just, they dropped down so many spots on the leaderboard. Uh, so yeah, super disappointing for, you know, a lot of people who were expecting a, a proper ranking system. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how much this actually fixed things, but we'll just see. Uh, I'm going to keep playing mostly solo and uh, duo from time to time and see if we're actually able to climb with this new like patch i guess or this new update that has corrected the point system um we'll just see you know i i doubt it <laughs> quite honestly because what i have noticed uh in just reviewing other people's stuff is that uh now if people are are in five stacks now it's actually rewarding them even more so instead of just giving them plus one for defeating a team of you know fairly inexperienced players compared to them uh it's now giving them like plus six plus seven <laughs> so it's kind of a uh, it's kind of a rich get richer type of moment here so you know that's how it goes sometimes i guess um but in other news there is one more thing that was uh just sneakily added in today's update and that was there's a new greninja skin now you you may be wondering why have i not purchased it yet well the answer is that I refuse to purchase any skin that isn't legendary tier, uh, because you know they're gonna, they're you know they're gonna drop a legendary skin for Greninja eventually. And am I gonna buy it immediately? Yes. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's just it's just a little flower vest that goes on Greninja. Uh, none of this, none of these uh, like little bonus cosmetics apply to Froakie or Frogadier. So obviously you have to get level seven for the skin to even show in a game. That's personally why I, you know myself you see i have a lot of gems uh shout out to the pokemon company for giving me some of those gems as well as uh, the ones i purchased myself and i'm just kind of waiting for the legendary uh skin for greninja and other pokemon that i play um to come out because you know it's it's really just those legendary skins which are right now the only two in the game are um the cinderace pirate one and the town flame pilot skin that you get from that you get from this uh you know this 
this gacha system from the energy rewards. So, uh, and those all have like little animation bonuses and little like skin costumes on the lower evolutions as well. So unless it's a legendary skin, it seems like in this game, it's not going to actually have like, it's not actually going to have cosmetics for the lower evolutions. Now, of course, if you're playing a Pokemon like Snorlax that doesn't evolve, you know, you may feel differently and want to buy those. But yeah, so anyway, if you're interested in the new Greninja skin, it does look pretty cool. I think it's actually better looking than this ugly Power Ranger skin, person. Uh, but, you know, not not going to drop the 350 gems when, you know, I'm, I'm just waiting. I'm waiting, you guys. You never know what's coming. For Halloween, it sounds like there's going to be some crazy, like, uh, Halloween Lucario skin. Who knows? There could be an event. So... Look forward to that stuff. Um, that's pretty much it for today's update. As I mentioned, like the big thing today, I think, is just uh, the rank point system. Uh, you'll see, as a solo player, I'm hovering around like 1100. Uh, you start master at 1200. So, you know, that's been the big issue that people are having is that like, as soon as you lose a single game in master or like so three or four, you're instantly down here in the like 1100 range. And uh, I've had like, recently I've had like a 80% win rate in my matches. I think I played like 15, 16, 17, maybe even 20 matches yesterday. I lost two, uh, but still only able to climb this much as, you know, a solo player. So, you know, I, I think you could probably understand how that doesn't make sense from a ranking perspective that, you know, someone who's winning so much, you would typically expect to be able to climb quite a bit, but uh, that just hasn't been the case. So hopefully this hot fix, as mentioned on Twitter, hopefully it you know fixes this stuff and we're able to actually see more solo players on the top 100. I personally doubt it, <laughs> to be perfectly honest, but you know it would be really cool to see that hopefully. So that's uh, that's that's kind of what I'm thinking for this update. I think really like if you guys if you guys are you know, wondering like, oh, I just got to master rank. Should I keep playing matches? Yada, yada. Uh, I think you should. Like at this point, the leaderboard is really just mostly going to be people who are grouping together and playing together. And that's fine. I mean, if you have four other friends that you can consistently play together with and climb with, then, you know, by all means, go ahead. Uh, I think you'll find it very enjoyable. Like I personally have found a lot of fun out of playing with four other people who know what they're doing and can communicate, right? Like, uh, it's a team battle game for a reason. That sort of thing is really fun in this game. But I would just say my advice is play to improve in this game. Um, just, just play to learn, play for experience. Uh, and if you're just, if you have like that ranked anxiety, uh, and you don't want to lose points, like just accept the fact that you will lose points and be okay with it, you know? Like, even if you're doing super well, you saw there, I'm like at 1100. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what, it, it is what it is. Like, it doesn't define your skill as a player, especially if you're playing solo, like how highly ranked you are. Really, at this stage in the game, I mean, the game's only been out for two weeks, right? You guys really just wanna focus on improving, focus on learning the game, learning different Pokemon, and learning your main Pokemon as best you can, so you know the limits and stuff like that. So that's just kind of my little spiel on the ranking system currently. It is still, in my opinion, pretty broken, but hey, it's what we have right now, and at this point, the game is still super fun. I'm really enjoying it, and I'm just personally just playing to improve. Um, so, you guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully, you enjoyed this little news blurb. It's going to be a quick one, but yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, follow me on Twitter for the latest updates for Pokemon Unite. Of course, I tweet these things out as soon as I see them, uh, so you'll even kind of get news blurbs before I make a video on them. So... Definitely do that and join the Discord. We've got a lot of lovely people there. And follow me on Twitch. I'm going to be streaming live every single day this week uh, because I'm on vacation. So, yeah, really excited about that. So, anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.